Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a first impressions on a new product that I got that I was really excited about. And I wanted to put it to the test because I'm a little bit skeptical of this product. So it's called the Makeup Eraser. And this is not the product, this is the box. So it claims that it removes your makeup with just water. Which to me sounds a little crazy. It has a cloth like this, which is really pretty and pink and very soft. And it says that it's reusable for a thousand washes. So maybe not forever, but still a great idea. It claims that it will remove waterproof mascara, that it's all natural, has no chemicals, it's machine washable, and no stains will remain. And it's soft, which I can say is true. <laughs> but it also says it promotes healthy skin. So it's a great idea because we all spend a lot of money on good cleansers and different types of products to remove our makeup that have oils and chemicals and all those things. And if this is something that can remove your makeup with just water, you know, over time that does save you a lot of money. Plus you're not putting lots of things on your face and I don't know, it could be really interesting. I had to wash it first, so I did that. It says to wet it, drenched wet, and use warm water. So I'll do that. It says to gently rub off makeup in a circular motion, then flip eraser on long nap side to exfoliate. And then you just wash it as needed. So I'm gonna go and drench this in warm water and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I drenched it and kept a some of it dry, but I drenched it here. I pulled my hair back as well just to keep it out of my face. And I don't have anything too crazy going on with my makeup, but I do have a dark lip on, so I'm interested to see if this works. Let's find out. I'm always happy to be proven wrong. Not that I am in total doubt of this product, but I'm a little bit skeptical. I find it a little hard to believe. Even though I've watched people use it, I'm still not sure. So let's see. Circular motions, it said. Okay, so it's taking off some of my face makeup, but the question is about eye makeup. Okay, well, it seems to be coming off. Well, it got pretty much all the eye makeup off, so let's see about everything else curious about the lips too. That's a little more difficult, but it is coming off. So I'm going to work on the rest of my face. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it over. You can see all the makeup that's on there. And I'm going to turn it over and just try and use the other side to clean everything else up that I left behind. Well, wow. so you can see my face is totally clean now which is pretty amazing actually. So just a few notes, and again, this is my first impression, so I would definitely wanna give it a try again and see how well it washes and all of that. But the first thing that I wanna point out is that it really does need to be drenched. What I noticed is that I felt like I drenched it, but there were still parts of it that were dry and it really doesn't work in those dry spots. So you really need to make sure that it's very, very wet. The other thing is, once you've wiped off makeup on part of it, then you kind of have to play with other parts of, of it because otherwise you're gonna just wipe all this makeup all over the rest of your face. It did shed on me just a little bit, but that might just be because it's pretty new. I haven't used it yet. The other thing is that I'm interested to see how well some of this washes out without 
putting it back in the washing machine because if this is the type of thing where you need to put it in the washing machine after every use, it's not really something that's ideal for every day because you're really going to put this in the washing machine every day. That's just a big waste of water and I don't think anybody wants to spend that much on their water bill. Overall, I think this is really cool. It felt really nice. It was really soft. It took a little bit of working in, and so I worry a little bit about rubbing so much on my face. And part of that might be, again, that I didn't get it wet enough, so I'll have to keep practicing with it. But overall, I'm very impressed. I would definitely recommend giving this a try if you're interested. Again, it's called the Makeup Eraser. I got it um, off of Sobora's website. And... I just think that this is a really cool idea. I don't know how it works. I don't know how, what they do to this thing, but that's pretty amazing. I hope you enjoyed this first impression. I will update you via Twitter if this is working well for me, or you may see it in a favorites video, depending. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure to follow me at all the links below. If you're not subscribed to me already, please subscribe to me. I would just love that. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you next time. Bye.